Hi, glad to be with you today. You know, I always love to bring in people that are doing great works and sharing the love of God by loving their neighbors themselves. And it's really great to have good news to share. And the good news is that Jesus Christ came to earth, died for our sins, and gave us the great commission to make followers of Jesus Christ by loving our neighbors and ourselves. And I've got a big group of people today that are really doing just that by helping the children of the disadvantaged areas of Dallas do a better job. So let's meet who we've got here today. We've got Priscilla, and we've got Angel. Angel and Jacqueline Wright. Oh, put Ooh. your mic up. Jacqueline Wright. Okay. Ronald White. Uh, Albert Patterson. Quincy Crawford. Is it on? Curtis Action Jackson. Okay. And we got our special guest over here. Just say your name. Boss Man. <laughs> All right. We got Boss Man with us. So, this big group of people is doing some great things to make life a little better for kids, and they've got a program going on called All Children Count, Let's Walk It Out, which is a walking chair. Yes. Now, you all are taking in donations for the kids that Yes, walk? we are. Yes, we are. We're <coughs> doing a Youth Walk for Walk Youth Marathon October the 27th at Keys Park from 8 to 12 p.m., and we're doing it for the less privileged kids, for the kids <coughs> that has to deal with everyday life issues, uh, that's homeless, that's in shelters, or just dealing with whatever this they're not responsible for. And uh, that's the purpose of the walk. <coughs> Good. How many kids are you expecting? We're expecting about 500. 500? Yes. So, wow, you know, we got a big group here, but they're doing some big things with a bunch of kids. And what a great way to raise awareness and raise money mm -hmm. by doing this walk, getting the kids involved in helping their community. Yes. That's all real good. And what is your role in this now? Well, my role is I'm the founder of Every Family Counts. Um, and what we do is that we just want to provide for the less fortunate families that don't have what fortunate families have. And our motto is turning less fortunate families to fortunate families. So, you know, we're just trying <coughs> to help the, 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 the kids that are homeless, sick, disabled, you know, and just bring them life. Well, that's a fantastic thing. You know, I'll tell you, I'm always inspired by my guests to hear some great news about the wonderful outreach they're doing. I mean, I do my own little outreaches, and this show is an outreach spreading the good news of what the Holy Spirit is doing through people right. and spreading the word. Yes. So how many kids are you helping now in your program? Well, my program, I'm looking to help at least 100 kids a year. 100 kids. 100 families a year. Um, you know, just trying to provide for them. Whatever their need is, we want to provide it. Well, that's fantastic. You know, I'll tell you, it's always uplifting for me to hear the great news that people are really working to make a difference mm -hmm. in their community. Mm -hmm. It's not just guilty people from up north coming down for an afternoon of work, but mm -hmm. you all are in living and helping your yes. community break out of these problems that are so intractable. Yes. Exactly. So that's great. Exactly. Yes. Does anybody else have something they want to add? Okay. Um, I have a nonprofit group as well. It's called Perfect Collective Prodigy Mentoring Group. And uh, we do back to school, you know, backpacks, give backpacks this year. And it was a real good, nice turnout. And we got about 180 kids for our first event. And next year, we want it to grow even more. Mm -hmm. You know, and we also, I'm coming out also with a photography, put the gun down and grab a camera. That's Fantastic. what we're going to be coming out with next year. Okay? All Fantastic. Right. Super. Anybody else got another program? We have just got a cornucopia <laughs> of people doing the Lord's work yes, out in the yes. world. And mm -hmm. it's inspiring to me and it just shows me how little I'm doing of real hands-on <laughs> getting out there and making a difference. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really thankful to be a part uh, of this wonderful organization, what they'll be doing there in the Keith Park area. I grew up in Oak Cliff, and um, for the last four years, my daughters and I have actually been helping the homeless 
in South Dallas underneath bridges and shelters and things of nature, singing to them, feeding them, and those type of things called love under the bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, love can change you and reach you wherever you're at. And so my primary focus is if we can reach the kids, right. then we can help them from not being underneath the bridges. Mm -hmm. So I'm really thankful just to partner with you. I'm a motivational speaker, and I thank you for the opportunity to go out and just inspire the kids. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. Well, now how many kids are you reaching? You're going to the homeless, too. Yeah, we, we, we go to the homeless. Uh, we also help orphans. We help kids um, who are in the inner city inside the schools and things of that nature, too, as well. And my goal, or our goal, called uh, Action and Compassion, or Compassion and Action, is to reach a million kids. Wow, wow. that's fantastic. Yeah. Wow. And the name of your organization or how people can go on the web and find you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's called, actually it's called Love Under the Bridge, and you can find that at trinitychurch.org. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, fantastic. Wow. Well, this is good news. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hi, I just want to thank Eric, thank you for giving us this opportunity to come out and let everyone know about the, the Youth Walking for the Youth. And a good thing about the Youth Walking for the Youth and All Children Count, we want to make sure it's a real good event. We want to encourage everyone to please come out, participate, join in. We have live entertainment that we're going to actually have. We want you to come in and see them as well. We have inspirational speakers. I want to thank our today, especially Byron Barnes for getting us in today. Uh, which he's in the studio right now. I also want to thank Curtis, Mr. PCP and Entertainment for coming, Priscilla and her husband with the All Family Counts and um, Youth Walking for the Youth. The main thing today is we want to encourage everyone to please come out with us. Enjoy, bring your family, have a great time. And what day is that again? That's going to be on October the 27th, 2018 at Keys Park from 8 until noon. You can also go online and register. Uh, you can look on our Facebook page, Twitter page, and also Instagram. So any way that you need to get us, please make sure that you can reach out to us on Facebook and Instagram as well. And that information will be on the screen here later, how you can reach out and be involved with this really great inspirational group. You know, I thought I was just going to have Byron on today. <laughs> but it's really inspiring to see that there's not only quality, there's quantity of people that are really throwing themselves in to this ministry of reaching out to our most disadvantaged and at-risk kids and adults. Mm -hmm. So that's always inspiring to me, and I hope it inspires you as you go through your life and think, how can I let God's love shine through me? How can I let the Holy Spirit compel me joyfully to give my time and my money to help things? This is a great cause, along with many others. Share my website with your friends and family. Let other people hear the good news that people are making a difference. And if all us Christians pull together, we could really turn this world around. Most of the world's problems come from the fact that we don't let the Holy Spirit shine through our lives and drive us joyfully to really make a difference and help the community. Like my friends here today are really making a difference Every little bit helps, mm -hmm. and these are doing some big bits, really doing a great turnout, 500 kids mm -hmm. for this walk. We have room for more. Jesus. Love to have it. Yes. Be fantastic. So this is really good news. So Priscilla, how did you get involved with this? Um, it started like 15 years ago. Uh, me and my husband uh, was helping a friend get her children out of CPS system. And the court wouldn't allow her to receive her kids, at uh, her grandkids, because she was too partial to her daughter. And so we allowed her to move in with us. And she stayed for about two weeks. And uh, she left. And so at that time, they was 18 months, five months, and six. And my daughter had just graduated. So me and my husband were really through with children. But uh, we woke up one morning in August, and we had three babies. And so... Um, we had to deal with the abuse. We had to deal with the addiction. Uh, but we took them in, and they are now 16, 20, and 21. And then the next year, her mom had <coughs> twins. CPS asked us to take them in again. So we took the twins. We got them when they was four months old, and they are now 14. So this is really dear to my heart because of the passion and the love that we had to endure with them. And the Christians, they would ask why we couldn't be with our parents or why our mom wouldn't come see us. I understand how kids can act out in school. 
how they can be rebellious because they don't understand what has happened and transferred in their life. They just know they don't see their mother and father and they don't know the reason why behind it. So we took them in and so one day we, I was telling my husband, Ronnie, I just need God to give me something to do. And he laid it on my heart to say, start Gift of Hands Foundation, go feed the homeless, go to the shelters, reach out to the kids that has endured what your children has went into. And that's what has drawn us to do this. Yeah. Well, that's a fantastic ministry. Yeah. And wow, yes. how brave you are yeah. Yeah. to take foster kids in and provide a loving home and a Christian example to them mm -hmm. and help bring them up out of this despair-filled, unpleasant life. And that's really that's a fantastic right. calling. Yes. And how did you get involved with your charity? Well, my charity, um, it just comes from the heart. Uh, me and my children, we could be riding, we could be at the um, water park, anywhere. And we could see some children that's just not as fortunate at, as others. Children can see that. They can see that mm -hmm. what they have and what they don't have that other children have. Um, so my children always like if they see somebody on the side of the street, Mom, can we get them some money? Can we get them that? Can we get them this? And I'd be like, well, yeah, we can give them that. So it just was laid on my heart to start something for everyone or something that everybody could uh, participate in and that was just providing that every family counts because everyone does count. Mm -hmm. Well, and this is just a classic example of the Holy <laughs> Spirit at work and the kind of wild stuff that can happen to people when they let the Holy Spirit into their life and really transform themselves from being selfish and self-centered mm -hmm. into spreading the love of God out in the community and really making a difference in these kids' lives. Right. That's really what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can think about, well, I need to get ahead in life. I need to have a bigger house. I need to have a fancier car. Right. But when it comes down to Judgment Day, how you've loved your neighbor sure, and your yes. neighbor includes those who are in most desperate straits, mm -hmm. that's really where the game is played. And... I tell people it's a real warning sign that you haven't let the Holy Spirit into your life. Right. Yeah. If you're yeah. not compelled like these people, they did it out of joy, out of love. Oh, yes. There's no, oh, I'm obligated to do yeah. this. Oh, yeah. They were called to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's where we really need to be if we're going to really be followers of Christ. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. 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 Wonderful. That's Amen. what we're saying. Amen. And that's what we're doing. And I hope you will come out to this wonderful event that's coming up October 27th mm -hmm. at Keys Park mm -hmm. from 8 in the morning until 12 o'clock noon. It's going to be a wonderful day. They've got inspirational speakers, 500 kids out there walking. Now, can they? is there a website they can go to and donate money to these kids for their yes, walk? Yes, it is. Uh, it is cause you can go to Eventbrite, and you can type in Youth Walking for Youth, and you'll be able to register to be a vendor, to be a sponsor, to just participate in the walk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, I hope we'll get some supporters. These kids need yes. people to support them every yes. step of the yes. way yes. to inspire yes. these youth. You know, supporting a walker or a runner, whether mm -hmm. it's for breast cancer or to help disadvantaged kids or whatever it is, is a great way to help reward somebody for stepping out themselves trying to make a difference. Yes. So, yes. Yes. you know, Plus, the kids are getting some exercise, oh, yeah. which is which is a great thing. Everybody needs to walk more. Yeah, we have a yeah, problem yeah, even in yeah. the poor communities with kids that need more exercise, mm -hmm. and so that's all good. Mm -hmm. So you're a, you've got an event coming up. Yes. Well, our next event will actually be on Sunday, October the twenty first. Um, we'll be actually in this. We'll be in the South Dallas area. Uh, underneath the bridge and the the streets are on Dawson and also uh, Malcolm X the corner of that and again we've been doing this now for four years one of our largest audience was Tent City as many of you know but we had 600 individuals who were homeless and the story goes as my daughters were singing at the age of 14 she said that she's no longer on drugs she's out of the tent and mm -hmm. now she she actually leads uh, a transition home for other women who are homeless so I'm, I'm living proof that you don't have to be rich to give back Mm -hmm. and your life does not have to be perfect. Right. Well, the sad thing is, <laughs> it's oftentimes those that have very little that really give significantly. Right, right, Whereas right. 
I find that many of my affluent friends mm -hmm. give less than their dry cleaning bill to loving their neighbor and mm -hmm. helping people, whereas this family is taking in foster kids, changing lives for the positive, really making a real commitment. So like I said, if you're not letting the Holy Spirit manifest in your life by driving you to incredible acts of charity and kindness, both time and money, you really need to think hard and say, I need to pray a little more. Right. I need to ask God to let the Holy Spirit into my life so that I can have the peace that passes understanding in my life. Because you have a great joy for the work you've done, don't you, Priscilla? Yes, I do. It's just children's has always been a passion for me in my heart. And it's just that I love them so, so much. Um, all my life, I have always had my nieces, my nephews, my children uh, every summer. I just always did that, and all of them are grown now, and I still have children. I have, like I said, we have five now that we're raising. Um, we all together have 14 kids. Wow. So we have a lot of children that I just love children, and they are my heart, and I understand and what it feels like to be, you know, without or uh, be, go through, because like I said, I had to deal with the children that I have to get them to understand that, you know, this ain't the way, your life's supposed to be but accept the hand that God has gave you and make it work for you. And That's I thank right. God for 15 years. They are all sisters and brothers. They weren't in foster care. They just was in CPS. And we just took them in. And uh, I thank God for my husband because he worked it and provided. We never got assistance or anything. It was just God made a way for us to take care of these five kids. And I thank God for it. I'm a grandmother now by one of them. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a so, fantastic yeah, yeah, story, yeah, 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 and that's yeah. really what it's all yes, about. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, yes. you know, it's inspirational to me, and it really should encourage you to really think hard. Look at the information on Eventbrite. <clears throat> you can probably search for Youth Walking for Youth yes. 2018 online mm -hmm. on Google okay. and find mm -hmm. out more information. You can send them an email, mm -hmm. and they'll be glad to reach out to you yes. and encourage you. Yes. Supporting these people that are really making a difference can be such a joy for you if the Holy Spirit is working through your life. You know, I'm just always in agony that I can't do more to help other people mm -hmm. through charitable acts of time and money, primarily money, because... I'm not as gifted as these people are to have the patience to, to take care of more kids than my own. I can barely take care of my own. So to have raised and nurtured 14 kids is an incredible accomplishment. And you're to be congratulated for sharing your love with so many kids and helping them grow to be productive adults. Yes, yes. And uh, avoid the travails that Most affect definitely. so many people. Most definitely. Where they head to jail, get that criminal record. Yes, and yes. Their lives. The Greater Dallas Coalition Networks, we're having our monthly coalition meeting tomorrow at Cornerstone Baptist Church, wonderful feeding center where they feed hundreds of people every week. Love to have you come out and hear some really inspirational stories. Love to have you go to our website, check out the Dallas Champions Academy camp that we have. Love to have you donate to that. It costs us about four to five hundred dollars a kid to really transform lives through a week-long day camp and make a real difference. These kids don't have fathers growing up in dysfunctional homes with all mm -hmm. kinds of problems. And we're really reaching out to them, mentoring some of the kids, taking the most promising high school seniors to an athletic college football combine where they get a chance to try out in front of about 40 coaches. And we've gotten over 25 kids full scholarships to college, which is a fantastic benefit for them. Mm -hmm. So go to our website, check us out. We'd love to have you come to a meeting. That's how I met Byron and this good group of people <laughs> that's come into my life. Yeah. And you will be inspired too. And we all need more inspiration. There's so much depressing news, so much deprivation going on in the world that, you know, we all need good news. Share this TV show with your friends and family. Post it on social media. Help me spread the good news of the world out there and let people know that you're thinking of inspiring information too and not just falling into the trap of the false news and the negative news 
that saturate our lives through the internet. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. a great cause. And your charity again? Every family counts. Every family counts. Yes, and sir. every family does count. Yes, yes. Right. yes. And uh, yes. are you going to have an event or are you just working day to day? Well, getting things our done? next event that we're trying to get together will be a coat drive. Mm -hmm. um, so, as soon as we get that together, I'll um, give you the information um, and we can go from there. Do you have a website or an email? Well, they can email me at everyfamilycounts at gmail.com. Okay, everyfamilycounts at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And there's the information on your screen. You know, my guests today are quiet people that are really making a difference <laughs> in the world. They're not dominating the microphone, but let me tell you, they are telling some compelling stories of good news of how the Lord can work right, through your right, life. Right, right. Yes. They're doers, not talkers. I'm a talker and less of a doer. <laughs> but we all got to do our oh, thing. You, and I hope you will go send them an email Find out how you can send them oh, some yes, money. Yes, they yes. are really salt to the earth, yeah. ground floor, grassroots mm -hmm, people mm -hmm, making a difference mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. And my goal with this show is to provide a conduit where people that are being moved by the Holy <laughs> Spirit to do something can find new ways to do it that are really grassroots, that don't have an expensive marketing right. budget, siphoning away most of your donations. A donation to these causes goes right to the action yes. zone. These yes. are people, they don't have paid staff. They are mm -hmm. volunteers yes. doing the Lord's work. Yes. Yes. And what a better way to put your dollars to work mm -hmm. than to support somebody that's grassroots, mm -hmm. that's not siphoning off the money for a bunch of overhead. That's where your dollar really meets the road. Mm -hmm. And the Greater Dallas Coalition does that too. We are a very efficient organization, lots of volunteers, Lots of coalition partners that are all chipping in and doing great works. So you can use us as a conduit. Come to our monthly coalition meeting. You will find it to be inspirational and give you ground floor access to people that are really making a difference in a non-promotional fundraising format. I have a fundraising dinner coming up on October 24th. Love to have you come. You can reach out to us with the conference contact information at the end of the show if you'd like to come and share time with me and hear the good news about what the Greater Dallas Coalition and Dallas Champions Academy is doing. And of course, there are just so many causes in this walk that's coming up on October 27th at Keys Park is one more example of a great way that you can come out and find an inspirational morning. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it's not going to rain. Right. Yes, yes, yes. We need some good weather. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know about you all, but I am tired of this rainy weather. Yes. <laughs> and, and the purpose of the walk is to let the children know that we are here able for those that are not able to walk for themselves, not saying can't walk, but dealing with stuff. And we want them to know that they're not walking in what they are dealing with by themselves. That's what we are here for. We are walking with y'all, and we just want them to know that they're not walking by themselves. That's the purpose of this walk. Yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there's a lot of other kids that'll be there that yes. aren't able to walk Most or definitely. Right. for Most whatever definitely. reason. Most definitely. Just life itself, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Well, super. Well, we got a singer here that needs to give us a short little song. <laughs> yes, Come we do. This is one I entertain Come on, boss, boss man. man. Tell us boss <laughs> man. Hold that mic right up to your face and let's hear some good news. Come on around Come front. Right uh-uh, -uh, then bring him right here. You know, we got to have some variety on the show, so we got some <laughs> entertainment today. Here's Boss Man. Tell us your song. Wrap it out. I'm bossed up on the boys when I step outside. Good grace, clean shoes with a bad ride. Mm -hmm. And my chain hang long like I'm 6'5". Check, check my chain, check my ring, check my ride. Rolling with a ball fade. Playing May with my bossed up park spot. Got it made. Hit the door, the girls know my name. Something like a boss, money ain't a thing. And take my girl lunch, cause I got that extra sauce. Boss, yeah. <laughs> boss with the sauce. Boss Great. with the sauce. I'm bossed up on the boys. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good job, good job. Boss man. 
So you what just never know what there. you're going to see on yes. my show. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in, share it with your friends. If that an inspiration, we got a young entertainer on his way up. Share the website with your friends. I'm eager to have more people watch the good news that I try to share with people to let the Holy Spirit work in your life. That's what it's all about, to have that peace that passes understanding. These people could be angry, could be frustrated, but they've got real peace in their life because they're giving themselves to others yes. and letting the Holy Spirit shine through their life. So when you think about your life, the turmoil in your life, maybe you've lost a job, maybe you don't have everything on, or maybe you've got it made and you don't know why you're not happy. Well, let me tell you, you haven't let the Holy Spirit work through you and take away your pain and suffering, take away your worries, and let that real peace, that real calm that comes with knowing that Jesus has saved your soul and eternal life awaits you because you've been a good servant of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So you can't give your way into heaven, but if you're not given, you haven't let the Holy Spirit in your life mm -hmm. and you're in real danger of not having eternal mm -hmm. salvation. Mm -hmm. So Amen. great news. Again, the great walk coming up. Please come out. Please go online. Sign up, come to the Greater Dallas Question, Youth Walking for Youth. This is a fantastic thing, over 500 kids coming. You know, when you look at life and you think, gosh, all we have is anger and frustration. All we have is people protesting. If all those people protested, did what these people are doing, there would be no disadvantage right. without a loving yeah. ministry. Yes. Yes. You know, yes. our problem is we just don't have the quantity of mm. believers doing God's right. work. Yeah. So you can step up and do that cause for yourself. Mm -hmm. It's been an honor to have Priscilla with us and hear about <laughs> all the work she's doing with these foster kids mm -hmm. and inspiring this walk in camp and your charity. Every that, family counts. Every family <laughs> counts doing God's work mm -hmm. to make a difference because every family does count. Yes. And let's see that nice bag you brought for me. Yes, this is uh, our bags that we will be giving our children. It says, Our Children's Count 2018. Let's walk it out. And we want to present it to you for you can have it for having us on the show. And okay. also, we will give you a T-shirt that says the same thing. And then on the back, it says, Let's Walk It Out, sponsored by Give to Hands Foundation and our family counts. And we would like, just like to present this to you, thanking you for allowing us to come on air and usher our story in our event. Thank you so much. Well, it's been an honor to have you on here. And I just feel humbled <laughs> to know that these servants of God are doing such great work. I hope you have a great day and that peace that passes understanding can become a major part of your life and take away all your cares. Have a great day. Ooh. Thank you.